What's up guys, it's Matt here with Tanks Lawn Maintenance. It is currently 8.07 a.m. Friday morning, beautiful Friday morning, September the 6th, 2024, the year of our Lord, and it's around 71, 72 degrees. I don't have a thermometer right here by me, but that's what it was inside. That's what my phone said before I walked out here. Um, it's overcast this morning, it's supposed to rain around 11 o'clock. I don't have anything on the list today, which is a good thing. Past three days I've had, man, I'm ready for a break. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just want to show y'all something real quick. Let me get y'all turned around. If you look at that lawn right over there, let me zoom y'all in. Right over there on the other side of that blue car, and this one right here on the opposite corner of me. There is some weeds in both of those lawns, yes, but. Get y'all turn back around, but. There's also a lot of dead spots and a lot of light brown spots in those lawns, and they are caused by army worms. And we had a huge invasion of army worms this year. We normally have them every year. They're normally not bad. And it normally does cause just a, just a, tad bit of browning in the lawn and um but this year man i don't know i don't know if the cicadas had something to do with it or what but we had a lot of army worms this year and they absolutely destroyed a lot of properties in this area and uh it's really frustrating as a landscaper myself it's very frustrating because it destroyed a lot of lawns people are sinking tens of thousands of dollars into their lawn over a period of a few just a, just a few short years you know and with aerations and detaching and lawn treatments for weeds and fertilizer and everything and plus paying guys like me to come out and mow their lawn every week or every other week they're spending a lot of money on lawns and there are some absolutely gorgeous lawns in the Augusta Georgia area that have been, they have just been absolutely decimated by these army worms and uh, you really don't know you have them until it's too late so the best thing to do is to treat for them at the end of June or the beginning of July and uh, you can use stuff at Home Depot so it's, a, it's a product called Triazicide I think is what it is it's uh, made by Spectricide I think but I don't use it, you can use it, and everybody that I've talked to said it works great, but I don't use it just because I simply don't have the time to treat my lawn myself. The only thing I have time for is to get out here and mow my lawn, because I stay pretty busy, especially during the growing season. So I pay a guy to come out here and treat my lawn for weeds and fertilize my lawn, and um, I'm fixing to start paying him every year in June to come out and put out an insecticide that kills all of it but I want to show you my lawn real quick my lawn had them real bad too and my lawn actually looked like a lot of the lawns that you see but I hired my weed and fertilizer company to come out here and put out a lot of product to kill off everything and to bring my lawn back and it's only been about two and a half week, weeks since he uh since he killed everything off and he's been out here twice since then to uh, put out some stuff on my lawn. He came out here two days in a row and uh, treated my lawn and that was, like I said, two and a half weeks ago. And uh, that was after he killed the worms, but uh, two and a half weeks ago. And I want to show you what it's done. Let me shrink it down a little bit. You still see a few small light spots in the lawn and there are some bare spots because of it like right up here by my rose bushes a little small spot and then all this out here on this side I'm still trying to get that to fill in I'm gonna bring in some dirt next year but like right over here are some light spots and out towards the middle of my lawn there's some uh, lighter areas 
and every bit of that is caused by army worms and it was a whole lot worse but after my company came out and killed all the army worms I had them come out two different times and spray out a bunch of iron and a bunch of uh, nitrogen and what it is is you know since I do aerate my lawn the iron gives it a chance for the uh, for the roots to go back deeper into the ground and give it that deep green look again and the um, nitrogen helps it uh, helps it spread back across like it was and it's currently in the stage where it's creeping back out now and filling in the bare spots there is a lot of bare spots and uh, there's really nothing you can do about it except for let time uh, let time do its thing and uh, but yeah it it didn't necessarily destroy my lawn but it did a lot of damage especially right over here where you can see and uh, and there's some spots in my backyard that are pretty bad too but it almost seems like the healthier your lawn is the the more that they flock to your lawn and um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful lawns in my area that have just been absolutely destroyed. I want y'all get another look at that. It's on the rebound right now. It was a lot worse, but um, like I said, guys, in a situation like this, you really have to just be patient and let time be your friend. And uh, <laughs> that's all I can say about that. And also, I want to show you another thing, too. We just had our uh, our youngest daughter, we had her the engine rebuilt in her car. Or no, had the engine replaced in her car. It was still under warranty. And um, the engine locked up on her. And we, uh, we just had it replaced. And my wife had it parked in the driveway. Her and my youngest daughter were cleaning it out and vacuuming it and uh, washing it and everything, trying to get it ready to sell. And the one of the hoses for the uh, radiator came loose and antifreeze just poured out and got into my grass. And I want to show y'all what it did right here. Turn y'all around. You see that right there? That's what the antifreeze doing. And um, it'll come back. Like I always say, it's very hard to kill Bermuda lawn, but that spot right there is probably, it'll probably start greening up a little bit before the end of the season, but we really only have about a month and a half left before the grass completely goes dormant. So it's gonna look rough until next year when everything starts greening, but greening back up. But also you can look along that hill right there and uh, it was a lot worse than what it was. And you may not be able to tip may not be able to tell from this uh, angle right here but that's actually a hill a hill and beside my driveway is I call it a water berm I don't know the technical name of it but all these newer developments in Columbia County Georgia have those and what it does it keeps it keeps water from running down into the neighbor's yard and uh, puddling up and it goes all the way down the length of my uh, property line right there all the way till you get to the end of end of the uh, grass right there where the sidewalk is but yeah the army worms they they took care of my lawn for me and uh, you can see brown patches here and there that's not scalp marks guys that's not where I dug into the ground with wheels or anything that is actually from army worms and you can see it real good from this angle right through here but uh it was a whole lot worse, but like I said, I hired my weed and fertilizer company to come out here. I want to say it costed $94 for them to come out and spray the entire lawn and killed all the army worms. And uh, then two days later, I called them out here to uh, spray nitrogen on the ground. And then I called them back out here or while they were here, I asked them if they could come out the next day and uh, spray some iron. And they did, man. They uh, they loaded me down with fertilizer. And uh, 
while I was talking to him, I, you know, he, he told me that he was going to have to use an organic product and it was going to be more expensive. And, uh, but every bit of it was less than a hundred bucks. But he, uh, he had to use organic products because he had to load it down with the uh, fertilizer. And if he hadn't used organic, if he'd have used, uh, chemicals, it would have, uh, it would have burned my lawn up. So I would imagine that if you do things yourself, some malorganite or something like that would probably work, but it's really hard to say, man. It's really hard to say, but I'm not good when it comes to weed and fertilizer programs. That's why I hire somebody to do it for one and for two. I just simply don't have the time, but yeah, it's a pain guys. It really is. That's the kind of things you deal with when you're a homeowner. And if you're a homeowner that really wants your, your property to look good, you know, you gotta stay on top of these things. And we typically in my area don't have enough army worms to worry about, so we don't worry about them. But for some reason this year, like I said, I think it might've had something to do with the cicadas that we had earlier in the year. But for some reason this year, and this is the first year that I've seen it since I've been living here, they absolutely destroyed a lot of properties. And they're not going to kill your lawn. But what they do is they, they burrow in the ground. The caterpillars is what they are. They turn into army moths. But they burrow into the soil and they feed on the roots in your, uh, in your lawn. And... They won't kill your lawn, but if you don't treat it, they will kill your lawn. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They're not going to kill it right away if you go ahead and treat it and kill them off. But if it happens over an extended period of time, like if you never do anything about it, eventually it will kill your lawn. But it's one of those things, man, you know, this, these, these things were here before we were. And we kind of have to, kind of have to coexist, but I refuse to do so. These things have got to go. They really do. And, uh, but anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that, that if you do get army worms in your lawn, it's not the end of the world. You can treat for them and you can restore your lawn fairly quickly. And, uh, but if it happens late in the season like this, you can pretty much uh, bet that uh, your lawn is not going to be what it was until the next season, until the next uh, May or June. But anyway, guys, that's what I got for y'all today. Just wanted to show y'all that and explain that to you. And I uh, hope y'all have a good weekend, man. I really do. And uh, I'm going to hop off here, and I'm going to cut y'all back on the next one. Until then, y'all keep cutting that grass and keep making that money. Holla at y'all. Bye.